Well, it's good to hear from old limpy Leo Smith himself. Brenton the Mara seems to be having a fantastic time. Every time I talk to him, he's like a little kid in a candy shop and he's very excited about what's going on. And yes, there is elephants everywhere. Literally from when we've left camp all the way to Chitwa is just elephants the whole way. And there are more and more herds that are coming down this way towards Chitwa. So we've got a couple bull elephants here. There's a big herd in the background and they're all drinking around Chitwa Dam. And like I say, all those herds that we've seen previously are on their way down this way as well. There's a family of Egyptian geese somewhere in the middle there as well so it's all happening out here it's really quite spectacular to see the amount of elephants that we have seen this afternoon and the beauty of this dam at this time of the day when there's this orange light coming over from the late afternoon and these elephants all drinking is really something special so we're very very fortunate to be able to sit here and watch them as they go you can see there's the Egyptian geese careful Egyptian geese you're about to get sprayed by a big bull elephant and that Ellie is no small elephant he looks sort of dwarfed there because we are up on the hill a little bit but he is actually very very big indeed so he seems to be quite happy with this afternoon and I wonder if he's not going to go for a swim I've seen many many elephants particularly these big bulls swim quite a lot at Chitwa Dam they for some reason love it it's probably because the dam is so deep that they can wade in and they can literally go way underwater and all you'll find is just this trunk sticking up out of the sort of the surface of the water and so they really do spend a lot of time swimming here so I wouldn't be surprised if they do there comes another young bull just to join him there we go and a little terrapin at the base of the trunk there terrapin are you also going to get sprayed if you're not careful that's quite cool we've got three species in one shot there Egyptian geese terrapin and an elephant trunk all together making friends oh. I wonder what's happening with this herd as well. I see they're lifting their trunks and just sniffing around and they've formed a tight-knit unit. And I think it's because of the crocodiles that we get at Chitwa Dam. So you see how all of the adult females are around the babies while they're drinking? And they're all kind of making sure that those babies are all huddled together and that they don't go too far. Inside Chitwa Dam is a monstrous crocodile, which I can actually see now and is sitting sunning itself. But this is probably just behavior to protect those little babies so if we look across the bank here there is our crocodile lying on the bank and look at the size of that crocodile it is massive so Brent has named that crocodile Boris the blade or is this Vladimir the impaler I think this is Vlad the impaler I'm not 100% sure we'll have to find yes I think it is Vlad but Vlad is having a moment's rest but that crocodile is huge you can see the little water thickney in front there it's a really really sort of dwarf by this massive crocodile and I'm sure this crocodile will eventually start slinking back to start hunting so that now is a good time to actually be here for the crocodiles whenever I used to work at Chitwa I used to find that they would hunt in the sort of shallows that are around this time just before we went on game drive you'd find them pushing fish right up against the edge of the dam and then they would snap away at them and saw them catch I don't even know how many fish in my time at Chitwa so it's probably a good time to be here maybe it's going to start slinking as that sun begins to go down now Now, we'll sit here with our Ellie's and hope that the rest of the herd start arriving. And while we do that, let's go across to Jamie with some dwarf mongoose that seem to be playing around just like our elephants are.